guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Say hi to Simon, he's joining us today. I wanted to film this video for you guys. I just basically run down all of my tattoos, how much they hurt, what they mean to me or if they don't mean anything to me, they're just art. Um, if you don't like tattoos, don't fucking watch it. Because why would you? And let's just watch him. He does this all the time. Guys, when, oh, and I also talk about like my future tattoo plans, like what I want to get next. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this little tattoo talk video today. And let me know if you have any questions down below. And enjoy. Okay, so first I'm going to show you what tattoos I have. And then I'm going to show you what my plans are or like... I say plans, I'm broke, I'm so, so broke right now. So it's, it'll probably be a while before I can get all these tattoos that I want. But anyway, so my first, I'm gonna go buy my, my first to my last tattoo. First tattoo that I ever got, you probably have seen it before, it is, shit, let me turn. It's just this tattoo right here, you guys probably see it all the time. Um, and I got this as a matching tattoo with my girlfriend. It's just a heart, obviously, with an infinity sign because, you know, love forever. So kind of, I guess, what inspired us to get it. I don't know. We've been together six years now. Um, still going strong. And, yeah, the pain for this, the pain for this tattoo be, being my first tattoo, it wasn't, like, as awful as I thought it would be, but it still fucking hurt a lot. Um, the wrist is obviously... You can imagine not a fun place to get tattooed just because it's like really thin skin right here. So that's probably, that was probably like a 6 out of 10, I would say. I don't know, I'm actually like I have so many, I really don't. Let me see if I can show you this next one. Okay, so, move the shit out of the way. Okay, so... I tried to show the next tattoo on my back, but it didn't work, obviously. So I'm just going to insert a picture right here so you can see what it is. Um, basically, it's just a Roman numeral tattoo. I got it, I don't remember the day I got it, but it was like a year ago or something like that. It is the date June 26, 2015, and it, you probably don't have any clue what that date stands for. But basically, it is the day that um, same-sex marriage was legalized in all 50 states. And I know a lot of you are probably thinking, okay, so, so. Um, it's just, it's a big deal. Obviously, our country has come a long way from, like, what it used to be. People used to be, I mean, abused. People still are. So mistreated back a long time ago for being gay, for being anything but like what society calls normal. And so when this happened, like I, I didn't think, especially like where I live, I live in Texas. So I thought like Texas would be like one of the last states that ever even considers same sex marriage. And so I woke up one day, I remember, I remember the story. I woke up one day and a friend texted me and was like oh are you and your girlfriend gonna get married now and I was like what are you talking about she's like you didn't hear and of course she's thinking okay my friend's gay and she doesn't even know what the hell's going on of course I was sleeping so I, I hadn't been on any social media so I didn't know and she's I think she, I'm pretty sure she sent me a screenshot saying that like all same-sex marriage was legalized in all 50 states and I was like wait so like any state even Texas any like you can go get married I could go get married right now if I wanted to she's like yeah and I was just like what like I didn't even know this was happening and I don't know I could sit here and go into a long thing about like how much it means to me but obviously if you're in the LGBT community you know what this means to you so yeah I just wanted ever since that day I wanted to get a tattooed it, I didn't get tattooed for probably another year before I got it um but it just means so much to me. That is probably my most meaningful tattoo, apart from, like, the matching one I have from, like, with my girlfriend. But, yeah, that tattoo just, I don't know. It means everything to me. Moving on. tattoo is obviously this big one right here. 
Um, I made a whole video dedicated to it. You probably already saw it. Um, yeah, this is my first huge tattoo. Like, covers my whole forearm. Um, this one, if you want to watch, like, the video, if you want to watch the video on, like, everything in detail, I'll list it down below. I'll put the link down below. And you can go watch, like, where I went, who I went to, how much it hurt, stuff like that. But basically, I'm just going to go through it real quick. So, I was inspired by, like, obviously the beauty community, um, my love for makeup and how much it's boosted my self-confidence. It's put me in a whole new world and it's put me towards YouTube. It's just, it's done a lot for me. So, I wanted something inspired by that and I love traditional, neo-traditional, like, I love traditional artwork. So, yeah, I wanted something to represent that. So, it's just a gypsy girl with holding a lipstick and she's popping out of like a compact mirror or like a blush mirror like just any kind of compact um, and then there's a the traditional rose at the bottom I was really adamant about having a rose just because they're so beautiful and yeah that one took about four and a half hours and it did hurt but it wasn't it wasn't for being like a big tattoo it really wasn't too bad just the wrist hurt and up here in like the ditch of my elbow those two areas hurt, but like in the middle, it wasn't really that bad. Final two tattoos I got on the same day, at the same time, same shop, everything. Um, it was my 21st birthday. It was this year, and one of them looks like shit, so we're just not going to talk about it, okay? I mean, we're going to talk about it, but just don't talk about how it looks. So you guys, you probably have seen this one. So this one is just a little bow. It's just, I don't know, I just wanted like something girly right here and I really wanted a bow. I kind of wanted it flipped like the other way, but the tattoo artist said that it's not technically the right way. Whatever. So I just went with him. So, I mean, it looks cute like this, but this is just what it looks like. I'm just all about like girly tattoos. So yeah, that, that one, this one fucking hurt like a bitch. This was... I mean, besides sitting so long for this, this was my painful, most painful tattoo. This was like, this was like an eight. It was just because I think it was on the bone right here and it just did not feel good at all. I was ready for it to be over with, done with. I And then my last tattoo, I am going to show you this one without a picture because I can get to it. Let me zoom in real quick. You can see it. Alright, so it's just right here. I don't know if you can see it. It's just this one. It's just a Queen of Hearts tattoo. I know. Generic. I know. Don't talk to me about it. Pick up on camera, but it's really like faded. It's the newest tattoo I have, and you can see my skin through the heart. Like the ink didn't go all the way in or something. I don't know. But yeah, so this is Queen of Hearts. This is just, I just, I got it because I liked it. I thought it was cute. Um, I wanted something behind my ear. And I like cards. I don't know. I just thought it was cute. And no, these tattoos don't have to have some deep meaning. If you come for me about deep meanings, don't. Don't do it. Oh, and this tattoo, this one kind of hurt. Just, but it was more annoying because the tattoo machine was so loud. It was right by my ear. And it's really just... It's real sensitive right there, but other than that, it was it was fine. It was probably like a three or four. So that is all my tattoos. So now future tattoos, future plans. Um, the only thing that I'm really focused on right now that I want to get um, is the backside of my arm covered. I want to finish this. I want to finish this lower half and someday finish my arm. But right now, I'm just focused on. Finishing this side. I have, I want like a broken mirror, but like in traditional style with like, like panties or something, something girly. I don't know. That's, that's mainly what I want to do right now. Um, and I want some leg tattoos, but like I said, just, I'm a broke bitch. So when I do get money for a tattoo, I want it to go here. Um, but yeah, that is basically it. If you guys have any questions about my tattoos, you can feel free to leave them down below. I am open to answer any questions. Guys, I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are, and I will see you in the next video.